Okay, how's it going? It's been a little while since I did a video. Let me make sure I'm actually recording here. I am. I just did this video and I realized that I cannot turn my camera around while I'm doing the video. So, I'm starting this over. It's been a little while since I've done a video. I've done a couple of videos since then. I just haven't uploaded them. I'll be honest, they're, they're big videos and I need to go through and do some editing and I just haven't made the time. But, this will be a quick video so I can do it. Today I'm working on uh, my 99 Camaro. It's a it's a big nasty 427 LSX motor in it. So it also has a big nasty fuel pump. Well, I'm having a problem with the fuel pump overheating. After about an hour of driving, the fuel pump will seize up. I'll lose fuel pressure and the car dies. Uh, I can let it cool off, start the car up, and keep driving. So I've already working with the folks at MagnaFuel. I've already pulled the pump. I've already sent the pump off and had it rebuilt. I've replaced the before and after fuel filters. Both were full of aluminum, which I'm assuming was from the fuel cell that's in this car that's had some work done to it. Um, I haven't owned the car that long. And uh, I went through, I flushed the entire fuel system, I put new filters on it, and I put the rebuilt pump on it thinking I fixed the problem. And last night the fuel pump overheated on me again. I got out of the car, the pump was physically hot, uh, the, water, the fuel in the tank was physically hot. Uh, I didn't think to hit it with a heat gun, I probably should have. I don't know how hot it was getting, but it was hot. So today we're going to do a little diagnosing and I'm going to kind of show you how you can do that. So, come right here, the 99 Camaro has three fuse boxes, two here and one inside the door. All your fuel pump stuff is here. So, pull this one. One of the theories is I had too small of a fuse in here. Uh, this had a 15 amp fuse in it. It really needs uh, about a 20 to 25 for the big fuel pump. So I've already replaced that with a 25 right there. So can zoom in and um, you know test your fuse if you're ever having a fuel pump issues it's right there really easy to test to make sure it has continuity now moving on we go to this fuse panel which let me find that cover this fuse panel here is actually where our fuel pump relay is right there which is this bad boy right here so um, what I want to do is I want to test the pump and the car and see if I can make anything get hot. Basically I'm looking for any wires getting hot, the pump getting hot, any arcs in the system, basically anything that shouldn't be getting hot. So first thing I want to do is test everything and then I'll start eliminating things. So to test everything I'm gonna pull this bad boy here otherwise I'd have to let my car run for a really long time and this thing has a big cam in it and just I'd be fouling plugs before I got my test. So what you're gonna do then is you want to start doing some testing. I got my power probe here hooked up and as you can see right there I've got 12 volts that is my power source in now if you go to here and here I have ground signals and then this one has no signal because this would be the key on power which is not on so I've already done some testing and I know that this one here is the power to the pump cycle that on and you can hear the pump running so, what I'm going to do is take this high speed, high dollar jumper wire here. And you notice I'm using a heavy gauge because that is a big pump and I don't want this to be the problem. So this is a 10 gauge wire. Um, it is a big heavy wire. So that way I know that this isn't my overheating issue. Now, I can't hold this and do this, but I'm basically going to jump from this hot one right here to the one that runs the pump over here. So I'm going to put this in place real quick because I can't hold the camera and do it, and then I'm going to get back with you. Okay, as you can see, we have our jumper wire in place. The pump is running. We'll walk back here. Uh, let me, I think my flashlight's under here. So. Ah. That is the pump. It's nice and cool right now. Got a little bit of a fuel leak right here, I noticed, which I just did this this weekend, so it might be a fitting loose. And, 
aluminum fuel cell. It's got big dash 12 supply. Runs to dash 8, which then wise off right there into dual dash 8. So this is the motor in this car. Like I said, big 427, a little nitrous. Um, I'm not gonna make this video last too long. Basically, I'm gonna let that pump run. I've got my battery booster uh, on the battery, keeping the battery charged since the car's not running. I got 12 and a half volts good to the pump, uh, which is about the minimum you want. Really, you want 13 something, but I can't simulate that without the car running. And, uh, and I'm just gonna let this run. I'm gonna let this run. I'm actually gonna go change and get ready for dinner. And uh, before I go to dinner, I'm going to get underneath there and see if this pump's getting warm. If it is, then I'll start doing some feeling around and see if I can see what's getting warm. And if it doesn't, then uh, maybe that fuse fixed the problem. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the next step is to drive it and see if I can get it to overheat again. But, uh, if this doesn't work and I don't figure out the problem here, the next thing I will do is eliminate all of the electrical and I will actually disconnect the pump from the car. I'll, I'll keep it in place, but disconnect the electrical. I will take jumper cables from my truck straight to the pump and let it run off of the jumper cables, eliminating the electronics of the car. And then if it overheats, still, it's got to be a plumbing issue. Maybe those big fuel lines are too much for it. Uh, if it doesn't overheat, then that means the electrical system is the problem. So, uh, a couple of problems. Like I said, I don't know which one it is, and I don't have a whole lot of time to diagnose it and mess with it. I have several cars. Um, I've got a big turbo Mustang. I've got this. I just, I just don't have a lot of time to spend messing with uh, every, each car for diagnosing. So, um, as you can see, my shop, my garage isn't huge. You know, this is a normal garage. I'm in the process of building a shop right now out back. But, you know, when you got two cars two race cars, I've got an SUV, I've got a truck, you know, i got my girlfriend's car. I just can't have my garage tied up with a car, so. Uh, so we'll diagnose this, hopefully it fixes the issue, and uh, maybe I can report back. If you have any questions on this, please, by all means, hit my page, like my page. I'm gonna do more of these videos with all my cars, since I have so many cars and I do do this a lot. Uh, I'm military, I do this for fun, this is not my job, this is just a hobby of mine. So, hit me up if you have any questions. My name's Steven. Talk to you later. Bye.